Hello, I'm Renee Brack. This is Movie Juice and it's great to be at your place. The summer movie season is over in the US, but it's heating up here with some hot new movies. One being Funny People with Eric Banner. We'll take you on the set of that. And one made of pure heavy metal. But before we get into those, here's what's making headlines. DreamWorks has scored the rights to Michael Crichton's last book called Pirate Latitudes. Steven Spielberg will produce and possibly direct. Spielberg famously directed the late author's Jurassic Park for the big screen and worked with him creating ER. The book, due out November 24, details a daring raid on a Spanish galleon loaded with treasure. Daniel Craig is taking a break from 007 for the psychological thriller Dreamhouse. Craig will play a New York publishing executive who moves his family to a small New England town and finds the new home was once the scene of a brutal murder. Shooting of the movie, not the family, starts in January. Look for Robin Williams avoiding a walk down the aisle in the comedy wedding band. The Oscar winner will play a divorced dad who, with his ex-wife, kidnaps his daughter on her wedding day to keep her from making the same mistakes he did. The next movie out for Robin is Old Dogs with John Travolta at Christmas. If you liked Spinal Tap, you're gonna love Anvil. Spinal Tap is a mockumentary, Anvil is a rockumentary. Spinal Tap is not a true story, Anvil is a true story. It all began when two 14-year-old Canadians made a promise that they were gonna rock and roll till they were dead. Well, they're in their 50s now. Bands who copied them made millions. Anvil made nothing, except 13 albums, and two of the world, well, the dives of the world. Then they came to Australia and told us their story, starting with Alicia Malone. Heavy metal fans will know who these guys are, Steve and Rob from Anvil. And the rest of us soon will, thanks to this great rock doco. Anvil was one of those bands that just put on this really amazing live performance. They were a great band, yeah. I always liked Anvil. One thing that's really good, man, is that we found those sleeping bags. How has this film changed your life? Has it helped with a comeback in any way? Of course, you know. Uh, you're kidding. You're kidding. <laughs> we didn't notice. <laughs> all the cameras, all the people. <laughs> we haven't noticed any of it. We're, 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 uh, we're really famous now. Okay? We're famous. Uh, we, we've, Overnight, uh, after 30 years. <laughs> This is where we yeah. learned how to play. Yeah. We're like brothers. We were just innocent kids. We didn't really know what we were doing. Crappy productions, crappy management. My name is Tiziana Rigoni, manager at Anvil. It looks like she's booked us a tour. England, Belgium, Germany. This is going to be the biggest tour I've done in 20 years. When I'm rocking out, I like to do this pose. What's your power rock pose? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the place is, is jam fucking packed. So tell me a bit about the friendship between the two of you and what that journey has been over the last 30 odd years. But for Rob and I, the one main, main consistency was our friendship and our band. To me, it didn't matter that I had to go work supplementary work. And so long as I keep Anvil intact, so long as I'm writing a new song, so long as there's a future, I will, I, I gotta keep this consistency alive at all at all costs and you, you got to be devoted and have the passion for 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 what you love and you owe it to yourself who's the closest person i got in the world i started out with rob when i was 14 years old and we said we're gonna do it till we're old men we really meant that what i get out of the movie is that success is a state of mind or a point of view you wanted to make music for 30 years so you did Absolutely. Well, that's right. That's Absolutely. how, and that's exactly how we perceive it. We did exactly what we wanted to do, the way we wanted to do it. A fan came back and made this movie. It's a very pure and honest depiction. Now that it's becoming successful, it's a massive celebration, not only for the people involved, but for all the all the people through all the years who have supported the band. And the diehard fans are are celebrating possibly even more than we are. Mad Dog, the guy who drinks beer through his nose now walks around with sunglasses and takes limousines to the film screenings and signs autographs. <laughs> so there's cliffs I can go jump off. That's the easy way. Well, you know, no, you won't jump off the cliff because I'll stop you. That's dedication, pal. 
The Jesters is now on Movie Extra and everywhere online. Check it out at thejesters.tv. It's our brand new comedy series about the making of a brand new comedy series. So is it funny? Darn tootin'. The humour is like the savvy, even savage comedy of Frontline and The Larry Sanders Show. And no, it's not about the chaser, but it is about the Aussie media with all the bullcrap that goes into getting a weekly TV show on air and keeping it there. The next step you can see is number three, and in this show we all learn that if you attack religion, it'll attack you back. Buddha, you didn't bring your A-game tonight, did you, my friend? I've gotten more enlightenment out of a 40-watt light bulb. Religious Idol got 221,000 phone votes and text messages. And 15,312 complaints. Well done, team. I don't think any show in Australian history has offended that many people. And getting Nicole Kidman's Aussie agent fired doesn't make you a star in the eyes of your agent, especially when they're the same person. Oh, Jesus. Will not help you now. Don't miss out on your weekly fix of the media misbehaving badly. Mick Malloy pulls all the strings in the jesters. Seriously funny stuff about the serious business of comedy. 9.30 every Tuesday night, original and exclusive to Movie Extra. OK, now we'll take a look at Push, the latest formula pick that Hollywood wants you to go see and chew through heaps of popcorn. Chris Evans and Dakota Fanning lead a cast of gifted kids who can do things that a secret division of the government wants to use as weapons. Yep, we all knew there would come a day when Dakota Fanning would be called on to save the world. That day has arrived. I see the future. Right now, our future isn't that great. There's only one person who's ever escaped from Division. We have to find her. She's the key to bringing them down. With her, we're going to create an army the world's never seen before. Hadn't gotten to the bad part yet. We die. <sighs> Great. So, they're here. Some people are telekinetic. Uh, some people are clairvoyant. Some people are shapeshifters. Some people are watchers. I would love to see the future. I would love to have my power. Because I think that, I, I don't know, I mean, you could save so many people if you had the ability to see like a week in the future and you could see like bad things that might be happening and be like Superman or something. Honestly, after seeing what Kira is able to do and Carver is able to do, I really think that would be an amazing ability to have to be able to push thoughts into people's minds. I think you could go really far <laughs> with that ability. It must have been hard for you when he died. Who died? Your brother. I don't have a brother, sweetheart. But he was murdered. And you know who did it, don't you? Now, if push came to shove, would you like to see Push for Free with a Friend? Well, you can, because we want to give 20 Movie Juice viewers a double pass. You know the drill. Go to moviejuice.tv, hit the big win button, enter some details and answer this question in 25 words or less. What is your special power and how do you use it? That's it for Movie Juice, but not for long, because there's heaps of people coming to Australia to talk to us about movies, which is jolly nice of them, actually. So tune into Movie Extra again next time. But if you want more right now, go to moviejuice.tv. I put up some extra stuff there for you. See you soon.